Hi, it's Jeannie with Four Paws Acupuncture. Today in this segment, I want to film how to use a laser for all of you who do this at home. I realize not many people these days can afford acupuncture for their pets. And a few of my patients have opted out uh, due to finances and time constraints to do laser at home. And even if you are getting acupuncture for your pets, this is something you can do at home. So I'm filming this for my online class, Acupressure, Basic Acupressure for Pet Owners. However, I am going to release this on YouTube for everybody. So if you do have questions, leave them in the comment box below. And thanks so much. All right, so I use laser on all my dog patients and sometimes some of my human patients. Cats too, but cats like to chase the laser. So that's a whole nother topic. One thing I wanna say about lasers is I use professional grade lasers that I get from where I get my acupuncture supplies. There are lasers on Amazon and online that are less, uh, how we say, potent. However, they're very effective if you're just gonna do it at home and not professionally. If you are going to do it professionally, go to the source that you buy your supplies and I'm sure you can find them. Uh, some of these are very expensive, so you want to be very careful on the ones you're choosing. And before I even go on, make sure that you do not look at the light directly or that your pets do. You can wear goggles. I found that it's difficult for me to wear goggles because I can't see through them. I have a little bit of night blindness. So I just make sure that the animals and the, their pet guardians and my humans don't look at the light. So let me just show you. When I first started out, I bought this laser way back because one of my professor, professors at acupuncture school was treating horses and he recommended I use laser on my dog patients. And I bought this back in, I believe, 2005 or six. So this is really old, and this is my favorite one, actually. It works, it's a red laser, and you can use it, for instance, I will do points that are indicated for whatever specific thing I'm treating on the animal or the human. And one thing I do for dogs, especially, is I will take about half hour to 40 minutes and go up and down meridians. So I'll go up and down the back meridians, especially this back area here, because dogs, especially with arthritis and hip dysplasia and things like that, uh, this is a good thing. And the laser stimulates the point. It stimulates the energy. It's great for circulation. And most of all, it relieves stress. And the best part, it relieves pain. So for a dog, I may not be able to needle some of these points because it would hurt them and then they would bite me. So I just laser for, like I said, half hour, 45 minutes, every point I want to do on the dog. So if you're watching this from the uh, class, you'll know what points I'm talking about. I especially do stomach 36, urinary bladder 23, do four, UB 28, all the back points, the hip points, UB 60, kidney 3, LI 11, LI 15, small intestine 11, and of course the upper back and shoulders too, depending on the diagnosis of each patient. So this is my old laser, and like I said, this one's, you know, you always love your first one, right? Uh, when I got busier and started treating humans as well, I bought one for the human clinic. And this one has a little, see how it pulsates. I don't like that because it's hard for me to look at it, but I do that sometimes. And it's the same thing. I go up and down meridians on the human or the dog. I also have... This is a very expensive one. This is a vet laser, and I had to get it from my uh, supplier. And uh, I think this was like $300, something like that. I don't know. 
This is a green laser. And I use this a lot, especially in the summertime for dogs that are overheated or patients who have heat symptoms. So if they're hot all the time, if they're made worse by hot, muggy weather, hot weather, I'll use this or skin conditions. I will use this as well. So green relieves heat. It's very cooling. It's very pretty. And so I do this a lot. And like I said, this is a vet uh, laser that you will have to go through your distributor to get. You can't get this on Amazon. And I also have a red one. This is another kick-ass laser. So this one's super duper. I find that some dogs don't like this one. Um, I think it might be too strong. So I save this for the heavy duty uh, ailments. And I usually go back to using my smaller laser for the dogs that don't like this one. Um, not sure why, but you know, they know better than we do. So I do what uh, is best for them. So there are 365 points on the body, probably more. And I like to cover all of them by going up and down meridians on an animal. For a human, it's different because I can needle what I want without them biting me. Hopefully, I've yet to have a human bite me, but you know, nothing would shock me right now. So these are my lasers. The other thing I do is I use this infrared lamp that I found on Amazon, and you can get this. this is, these are not expensive at all. And after I do the liniment, the Zengu Shui, which you've all heard me go on and on about, and I will put a link in the description box below if you haven't heard me do my TED Talk on Zengu Shui. Um, and you can take this, especially when it's cold out, and go up and down. Don't, don't touch the body with it, but just go up and down, especially the areas that your pet is cold. You know, in the winter when they come in, this would be great. Throw a, a towel or blanket in the dryer so they can lay on top of it and then pour some uh, Zengu Shui or you don't even have to use the liniment, but just go up and down where they're hurting. And this helps warm the body up and it's pretty safe to use. They don't get too hot. Uh, here it is. And like I said, I found this on Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive. So these are the tricks of the trade. Uh, for you to use at home for your pets. Like I said, cats, uh, you can do this on cats, but they will chase the laser. They do like this infrared lamp, though. My cat newbie loved it, and he did like the laser, too. He didn't chase it as he got older, but he did when he was younger. And even my dog, who was part Border Collie, liked to chase the laser as well. So you just have to be careful and don't torment your animals with these lasers because they're too strong. If you're going to play with your cat, get one of those cheapy ones. It's not going to blind them. All right. So sending love and light to all. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks so much and have a awesome day.